Steve, Steve, you ready? Yeah. Because I do mine proper. That wasn't on camera, Kyle. That's okay. I didn't want to. Kind of was, I guess. Oh, sorry. You're an animal. We, we did that for our almond cat box opening. Yeah. We had like probably, what, 100 packs, 110 packs? And we were just like, okay, guys, Open take up handfuls yeah. and just like huck them on the table. <laughs> like, you, you mean you did like the, the store openings? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to use that for a clip. So maybe we can use that as well. We're just like doing this. <laughs> be pretty good. Uh, oh, this looks like a lightsaber of some sort. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. It's a. Uh... Uh, Makashi tree. Like, oh, so rare. The plane explosion is on her. We have uh, docking bay, like uh, loth cat and mouse, and synchronicity is their uncommons here. And I got uh, Jin or so. Ooh, Jin. Yeah. Uh, Scrap boy. Loth cat and mouse. It's pretty boring. And then. Size of blow and a spine it. So you can put them. You can put them in piles too. I like that way we don't have to take up the entire mat with the stuff. And I was thinking legendaries can go like we can start with legendaries after you get them. There should be about twelve between these two boxes, but we'll see. A rebel commando. Whoa! I was actually right. <laughs> Remove an opponent's dice, but you have to pay a resource for it. Caution. Oh, look, it's uh, Anakin Sky. Anakin. Anna Hayden. Can. One quarter portion of the scale seems like a cool card. Remove an opponent's die, then that opponent gains a resource, but you pay a resource. But it's like, you get to remove one of the dice, no matter what. Hmm. But you just have to pay a resource for it. It's like, it's like this box is Electroshock. Electroshock's a card from the last set, you pay a resource, and like, you remove a die that's two or lower or something about it. Oh, you got Makashi training too. Wait for one of you to open three death troopers so you can trade me one. <laughs> oh man, for a second I thought this was a shock baton and I was like, oh, shock baton. But it was only uh, an A 180 blaster. That's <laughs> It's kind of bad. I'm liking the whole, there's like a lot of cards in here that have like the multiple effects things. Yeah. And I'm like really excited to kind of get built around those. Dude, that bow is like... The bow cat? Oh, the like Chirrut's bow or the bow caster? The Chirrut's bow. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's sweet. I want the bow caster too. Oh, War Torn Streets, discard a random card from an opponent's hand. That's pretty awesome. I also need Chewbacca, but I figured no one would try anything. Right Seth, we're trying to enjoy opening these. We're not trying to it. I'm just kidding. I'm going to watch them now. So, I can so like, feel free to. Oh, yeah. there's a Chewie right there. Nice, dude. I was so. Uh, Lucas, I told you, Lucas Litzinger was at the Game Fest. That was like, you know, have you heard of Star Fest before? It's like a sci-fi convention that yeah. they had on the Marriott. There's a side part called Game Fest that's run by Pitcher's Family Games, and they got the designer of this game to come down and talk about it. And he had a bunch of cards from Spirit Rebel, and he was playing people with all weekend. Oh yeah. And he, he had like Chewie in one of his decks, and it was like, um, oh, brutal. <laughs> Or someone had a Chewy somewhere, but yeah, sure. Chewy's like. And Kenobi. Oh, that one's kind of cool, actually. Had to draw a card. And so, like, it has a bunch of nothing because you just basically roll it and draw. Yeah, which is not bad. Mm -mm. That person looks terrified, but it's probably because their ship's blowing up. Probably. <laughs> so there's a Chewy, everybody. Turn an opponent's die to a side that shows damage of a blaster or, or melee or ranged to deal that much damage to a character. That's, uh, that's kind of interesting. You're just like hoping you can kill the character before they resolve the die. <laughs> Are you able to target on stuff since it doesn't have a target? It, uh, it says opponent's die, but... Oh no, but it says to damage any characters, it doesn't spit. Oh yeah, you could damage your own characters if they like would trigger off of it. Like Obi-Wan or something? Yeah. Like if you wanted to kill Obi-Wan to play something for free, because he's going to die anyway. This card. Oh dang. Oh, that's a force push? Dude, force speed is worth 50 bucks on this right now. Really? Yeah. That's one of the ones I got. So it's, it's, have you read it? Yeah. It's like broken, it's all nuts. It says you can take two extra actions. Yeah, and it's got three special sides. Yeah. So we got a force push on that one, we got a life debt, overconfidence. Your overconfidence. Yeah. This is really like or is it your strength? I don't know. Yeah, I, just, I, good. I don't know. Overconfidence. Spot a blue character to reroll two dice, then remove one of those dice with the lowest value. That could be cool for getting your opponent's dice out. Right. Yeah, that could be interesting. But, uh, 
man shuttle. Use a special ability on one of your characters. Oh man, there's like quad jumpers, and I want to build. I want to use quad jumpers to build like a vehicle deck. With like, because I got a slave one, you could do like the, like some of the other like cards like command shuttle or ATSD to just be able to like make like play them for really cheap and cycle them. Slave one a yellow. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, Astromech, remove this die to turn a vehicle to any side. Oh, anger. Two more dice showing blanks resolve and find die showing damage. That's kind of cool. Is it also remove the die from this side? Then? Yeah, like you use it, like nice. so you get to actually like use one of their dice because you rolled really crappy. <laughs> I got the traitor guy. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Dude, there's some He's really cool. crazy combos you can do with that guy and his baton and all this stuff. Really? Yeah. He seems really cool. Okay. I like trying to guess what that is. Ascension gun. Yeah. A lot of these arts, though, you're just like, what the heck is that? A picture of on the <laughs> uh, Use this ability in the battlefield that is not being used but was brought to the game. Whoa. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Cheat. Switch a card in your hand to the card in your discard pile. <laughs> oh, that's not that pile. I'm doing this all wrong. Ammo belt? Yeah, for another upgrade, you're going to attach a card to your discard pile. Discard your discard. No, I mean, like, just pull your card out here. Oh, okay. I'm having a research here. It's weird to put your arms as far up on the table. Dude, that interrogation droid is really cool. Okay. Yeah. Like, it has some really cool defense and some decks. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, like, it has some really cool potential in some decks. Maz's goggles. I just got some goggles. Yeah, uh, spotty, to play a spotty yellow character, the special is to look at opponent's hand, hand and discard the event, an event from it. And it's a one legendary upgrade on, for yellow. Nice. Armor plating. I'm really a fan of these kind of cards too, like long con. It says gain three resources if there's another copy in your discard pile. So like you you like discard this one to like roll roll your dice, and then when you play it later, it's three resources for free. Hmm. Destiny. Brynn's biting the heck out of her lip on that one. She's <laughs> real mad. Lightsaber pike. That's kind of cool. I like the lightsaber pike. Move this die to give a non-attached character one shield. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is this your interrogation drink? Oh, yeah, right. So, you get five or six cards in a pack, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you always get at least one card that has a die. And that's going to be a rare legendary, and only cards in the game that have dice are rares and legendaries. Okay, so and other cards are just like supplement? They're supports, so so I got eWeb, right? That's my dice right here. Then this rare, this uncommon card is usually an event or a support, and then all the other cards are like also events or supports. So like the four other cards you get are events, or supports, or battlefields, and this card is always the card you with die. the die. Whether it be an event or, or, or character no, or whether it be a support, an upgrade, or a character. Okay, yeah. so, so it's, it's not like... Decent. You could open a pack, get a card, yeah, yeah. and then have to wait for the die. No, you always get the die. You, the die that comes in it is the same one that they're rare. It's the same card as the rare. So if, like you said, there's like 150 cards in the set, how many dice are there in the set? I thought it was like something like, like whatever's on the sheet. So I think it's like probably at least 50, I think. Okay. Maybe something like that. Okay. Feel free to comment with how many there actually are. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. I was thinking, oh, you, you could get like... Han and then like Han's Blaster is a whole other dice that does not come in that. Well, like order. Han's Blaster would be an upgrade you can play on anyone. Right. So it would but be they... a separate pack with a separate die. Oh, I see. But Han would have his own die. So what's an example of a card that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, and like I said, that was how I thought it was. So. Yeah, that's good. Oh, cool, dude. I, I was really excited, yeah, about these are two characters I actually really am excited about. So the Royal Guard and Aura Singh. Guardian, before you guys said, you're resolve an opponent's die, showing damage against it. You cannot play blue abilities on this character. Yeah. So he's not, like, forced, but he allows you to get force cards in your deck when you have no, like, non-Jedi stuff. And he's un he's a he's a non-unique, which means, that, like, there's certain cards in the game that affect characters that are not unique. Yeah, Before you resolve this die, you may discard a card from your hand oh. and increase its value by one. Oh, okay with that. Imperial War Machine. Resolve one of your red dice showing its resource yeah, cost. I mean, my were like an even <laughs> Not as good with a 30 card deck. When I was opening my, uh, my box, I saw the four speed die and I was like, what? There's a blue so fet in this set? Yeah, and I look at the art and it's like, him oh, getting man. chopped. I'm just like, oh, that's, that's sad. And then you like, didn't read it or something or what? Yeah. I was pretty stoked, but just the art is just like, oh, no, that's a bow fet. I'm getting a hard of curing a word. Okay, Luminar. I'm a bow of Luminar. 
So like, if the, so out of the cards that we pulled, I don't. I think I'm the only one that's pulled legendaries, right? Do you? Let's put. That means you got. Well, we only get the gear way. Well, no, because you can have legendaries too, and I'm trying to figure out. I was just, just going to put them down. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea to put the battlefields in different spots. You know. So, oh, cool. If you play an event, you may reroll a die of the same color as that event. It just goes everywhere. So Luminar. Right, but that's what I'm saying. But those are the big uh, Resolve one of your characters' dice, increasing its value by two or by three if it's a non unique character die. So that so that's like you could do like yeah, Luminara and like a bunch of Jedi Hoplites and like make them really powerful. The first one, figure out what they got. Yeah. And then bring it up. And by the way, so of the legendaries we've got right now, Maz's goggles is, are is worth no, yeah. Sure. Uh twenty three and really Chewie is worth thirty, so ish, so. Yeah, that is like, oh wow, yeah. So there's like a bunch of stuff in this set that lets you um, basically run this like villain blue force deck that you can like just roll blanks with all the time and be really good at, and like really and be really, really not sad that you roll blanks. So, so are you trying to get like dice that would then have more blanks than anything else on them or higher? Uh, you could, yeah, and like so you could throw in there like you know like. Uh, stormtroopers, like the first order stormtroopers in the in the starter, have like oh cool, have um a bunch two blank sides instead of one, right? So or any like kind of character that has like a larger number of blank sides, right? Like if you could throw Ben's journal in there, but you can't, but that would that could be interesting, right? So that matters, Kanata. Oh. <laughs> if you activate this character, you may resolve two of your dice. Do you guys something good again? Yeah. A vibro knife. Well, you got some good stuff, but the vibro knife is is one of the ones that's worth like uh, a decent amount. It's like one of the more uh, expensive uncommons mm. or rare. Sorry. Gotcha. As this castle. Oh, man, it's not bad. Draw two cards. Place any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Anyway. That's kind of cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, because you cycle through everything. So Vi have to lose anything, yeah. Viper Knife's another good run to run in that ray, like that ray kind of deck, because she's already got melee damage, and you can like get extra actions. And since it has ambush, you can get like two extra actions in a row with Viper Knife. Gotcha. And Ray. Your dice rolls a. This round, you may exhaust the support to return an upgrade. To Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of interesting. That training card is super cool. The, which one? The, the attached to a red, non-unique red character. Attached character is elite. So you get a place next to one of the die on this card. Oh, is that what it does? It becomes elite? Yeah. And so you get to, like... You get an extra die card. So you can, like... Whoa! So you get an extra, like, 7 to 10 points, depending on what character you played on. Wow. What's it called? Training. It's just, what color is it? Red. No, I mean like uh, what rarity? Sorry. Yellow. Training. Yeah. And it's an up uh, support yeah. or upgrade. Yeah. Oh, I don't have that yet. <laughs> did you get a training? Uh, It'd be in here. I think I did. No. Okay. Fire, dude. Rob Ferrello opened his box and he got three IG88s in it, and I was like. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's like if you run like that, that could be a cool deck. No, that's the guy that act like this one. See, that's the one that can work really well with that like Luminara, thing. right? Because before you resolve this die, increases value by one. So yeah. you can have him doing like five damage or four damage, depending on what he's doing. Oh, cool. This is an expensive card. It's just one I wanted. Asa Asajj. Oh, Ventress. Yeah. After an opponent. So she's really good with like Night Sister decks. So if like the Night Sisters are like, you discard a card to reroll a die. Okay. And so like. do that anyways? Uh, no, sorry, you, you can ping them damage to reroll one, a die on the, that, the board, sorry. Whoa, cool, so like, this one's kind of like, if they choose to reroll, then they have to, oh, there you go, there's a... Oh, rocket launcher. <laughs> Steve just pulled a rocket launcher. Nice. They are talking about some really cool rocket launcher stuff, that one's the, almost $30, too. Not bad. Uh, uh, so, rocket launcher is special action discard a vehicle from play, and that special action is deal two damage uh, each to up to two different characters. Not yeah, and yeah, and so all the damage you gotta pay for. Yeah, but his special side, it's even his special side is you gotta pay for, I guess. But 
discarding one vehicle could, like, could be pretty big, like you could kill a Millennium Falcon with it or something. Yeah, so. Lightsaber true. Play like you have one or more melee damage. Yeah. Oh, dude, I just got the Anakin. Oh, nice. Maiden and switch. Uh, turn one of your dice, showing a resource to inside. That could be good. Yeah, it could. What do you think of the long con? I like it. I like all those cards that do that. I was just talking to Steve about that. <laughs> No, like it just looks. I guess it's from the different angle. It looks bigger. So dark print. So this is the Anakin that's like, you know, moves far Anakin. Deal three damage to a character, then deal one damage to this character. Is a special side. It's not bad. It's interesting that he has one ranged and like two and like two melee and then three hit melee. Cause like mostly time characters don't have. Force speed. Oh, he got a force speed. <laughs> There you go. Box almost just paid for itself. <laughs> yeah. uh, play only if you have a dice showing combines value seven or more like the top three cards you have. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, what you you that's kind of gross. And that happens yeah. immediately, right? You can take them before your opponent gets Oh, yeah. It's like, so when actions get added in this game, they get queued in the system. So you're taking an action, you get an action, it goes right after the action you're gotcha. taking now. And so then you'll have that many actions to resolve when you when you choose to move to your next action. Like, it'll be like, you have five actions to do. You can do, you do all five of them, and if any of those add actions, they get added onto the end. It, you can never get that many, I don't think, right. unless you really, like, unless you have, like, three or four. And this one's zero, too. Zero cost. It's pretty Imagine starting the game with four speed in your hand. And it's a pretty high chance of hitting a special action, too. Yeah, it is, and it only has one blank die, too, which is really Oh, actually, it's a re-roll, so yeah, you can <laughs> right? I think you have to spend it to to, 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 to reroll though, or that's the focus. You get to change a die to a side you want. I think. So, and also if you're on the cushion, if one of your dice rolls you disrupt, you may exhaust the support to return an upgrade and play with cost two or less to con. Yeah, I was like, yeah, the real inspection looks cool. Con artist, what does this do? This is yellow kick. Con artist. Place one damage on this upgrade, then discard cards from the top of the opponent's deck equals the amount of damage. Whoa! It doesn't ever die though, that's so cool. Like, it can't be removed from game, so. And it's got two, two sides? Yeah. What, are you here for Armada? Yeah. You, you guys can play Armada. Like, what are you saying? Yeah, no, no, I thought it was a tournament. Oh, no, we have, I think we have a kit. We just kind of give stuff out. We never have enough people to really run a tournament, so we just kind of have for, free play. Do you, are you okay with free playing, or do you? Yeah, no, I play either or. Okay. I'm just, if it's a tournament, I was more, I'm hungry, but if it's a tournament, it's a start time. Oh, no, yeah, go eat. Free play, I'm going to go eat. That was fun. So just like, we're going to check the keeps going as long as it's out. Yeah, so like this one is a, it's like a character, so you start the game with it. Right, right, right. Yeah, but I mean like, yeah, that actually that happens every time around. Every time. Hey guys. Should we heckle them on screen? Yeah, so every time you play your last your last card, you get it. Rise again. Heal five damage from the blue character. You might put enough grace to just start a up and free. Okay. Frantic Blaster. Steve pulled this four speed card, which is pretty good. Yeah. You guys found any legendaries yet? Oh yeah, there's four of them out. So we got four speed, rocket launcher, and then Maz, uh, Maz's goggles, and Chewie are the ones we have. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got Chewie. Do Chewie one of those dice with the lowest value? Oh, that one's cool. Double dealing. This heavy blaster, remove an opponent's die showing a resource cost, and it's an uh, upgrade, so it might fit somewhere. I have like a unique deck that uses just all pistols and stuff right now. Fair trade, I like that. Huh? The Blade? No, I did. I actually did get Viral Blade. Yeah, it's silly. Resolve one of the dice showing a resource, then switch all of your resources uh, with that an opponent's resources. Well, what team? Oh, dude, he just got a Palpatine. Uh, I resolve this die. Force do we to deal two damage? To Eric, do we have two left? Two, two boxes damage. left? Yeah, there's three boxes right Okay, so that's the last one you can you were gonna sell then? Oh, he, there's, still well, there's one more back there. But we we wanted one for the tournament today, right? D there, there are, sorry, oh, the there are two boxes held. They have stickers all over them. Okay. We're not selling those. Cool. And then um, we may have one more. Okay. So I'm gonna give this guy a call just to double check. So I got a bunch so. of blaster and. That one is what again? Uh, I thought we were out. Yeah, it's worth asking because I I went to Wizard Chess the other day and asked, and they're like, no, we have one left. And 
It's just random. It's like if people don't. Well, come no, out. we were here Thursday, and she was only able to buy two packs because. Did was you ask if they had any boxes of it? Yeah. No. Yeah, we did. Okay. We asked Bob. Interesting. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is what you get the bar. That's disrupt means you discard <laughs> random cards from your hand. So that's right. Yeah. Not bad. And then uh, oh, teams were legit. Yeah. Resolve this die. Force the opponent to take damage. That's actually not bad. Yeah. And like he he's got an elite value that means he can run his own. he can't he's like by himself. You just have Palpatine by himself, oh, okay. and you can have two of his dice. So, oh, so, so okay. and then so this thing will happen twice then. <laughs> oh, if you roll both, yeah, because you roll both. Of course, I'm gonna second one. It's just uh, Seth. He pulled a Palpatine. Nice. Right. That's the one I really wanted. But... <laughs> it's. I mean, I just realized right now that he gets his thing twice if he's E Palpatine. Like, he's like he gets to do four damage a turn. Distributed as he pushes. Not being used. What was brought to the. I find it funny that you can't even bad. use him with a royal guard. New orders. You can swap out a battlefield. Yeah. What? Subs? I'm pretty sure you can't even use him with a royal guard. No, you like, can't. No matter what version you take. I don't think you can have. There's no character cock that costs two points in the game right now that you can put without E Palpatine. Yeah. Uh, remove this die. So I got a Guabian Enforcer. Remove this die to remove one shield from a character. That could be okay. Interesting non unique momentum shift. Oh, so that maneuver can combo with the other uh, support that gets resources when you claim the battle. I don't know one that did something similar to that. Here it is. Oh, it's a little special. Yeah. Greg, you're looking for four packs? Yeah. And then are you using the whole box? No. I got another slave one. <laughs> They call me. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Slave one. Force an opponent to deal damage to their characters equal to the number of dice in their dice pool distributed as they wish. Wow. With a two, three, four pay and one resource and a special icon. That's pretty gross. It is if you. So it costs four though, which is a ton of resources in this game. Like, well, yeah. fours and fives are harder, significantly harder to play. But yeah. Oh, look, there's a training card. Now any character this gets elite, plays a second copy of it. Let's die on it. I want to run that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> right? So, like, there's a whole deck out there. Like, the one deck I have is, like, three First Order Stormtroopers and a Tuscan Raider. So, like, you could put this in there and make them into a two-dice Stormtrooper or a two-dice Tuscan Raider. So you have the extra copies, right? Yeah, that. yeah I mean, you would have to have them, but I mean, I hope you would if you played it. <laughs> You're like, can I borrow one, please? I don't have a... Yeah. Uh, now I'm the master after touch characters. Character upgrade dice deal damage. You may exhaust the upgrade to turn a die to side showing a blank. See, nice. what I'm talking about with the blue villain blank stuff. Yeah. So, did you notice that each card is either villain, neutral, or, or hero? Uh, no, so, like, I did. you can't play like I can't play the, the slave one in a chewy deck. Right, because he needs to be yeah, villain. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Mon Mothman again. We already kind of went over that one. Uh, in Imperial inspection, which we saw, and then we got undying loyalty arms. Discard any number of weapons from your hand, and then gain one resource for each card in this deck. There's a really cool card in this set called Blackmail. Uh, and like, it's like this crazy card, right? Oh, we both just pulled the same character out of the two packs we just opened. Twinsies. Twinsies. Oh, look, it, it like put it behind it. Remove <laughs> uh, a number of your dice showing a combined value of three or more, and discard a random card from an opponent's hand and gain resources equal to its cost. One potion. Could be good or bad. Yeah. This is probably good. A, you have a training now, too. We have you now. <laughs> Swiftness is like give the next card you play ambush. <laughs> Uh, I am sorry. I feel like we're not. Woo! Bowcaster! Oh, redeploy is the best effect in the game. So, like, when a, a unit dies, redeploy cards get can, can be put on some other card. Like, you can basically like say, okay, now this card's on this card instead. Like, because we don't go to oh, the yeah, discard yeah, yeah. pile. Yeah. And we just pulled two legendaries in yeah, the two packs. We got a U Wing. Oh, man, that card is so cool. damage to each of. Uh, opponent's characters, special give each of your characters two shields. No blank sides on the Ewing, uh, even though it costs five. Like, it's no blank sides. That's pretty good. Yeah. So it's double special. Huh? That says your beard's too short. He what? what? Your beard's what? too short. That yeah, does. it is. My beard's too short? Yeah. Should it be longer? 
I just told her to heckle you. Oh, okay. That was a pretty good one. And, and it totally distracted me. Now you're the jerk and not her, so she's actually playing this very well. What's that? Well, she said it was your fault for saying that, so now you're the jerk and she's she's fine. Know, this card cards from your hand is a See, that's cool too, because you could uh, like use sabotage to. Oh, to discard that support. Got it. Got it. Okay. Right. Trader, ambush, discard the top card of your deck. Bid, remove a die, not showing a special that has. Huh? Nice. <laughs> Delta 7 Interceptor. So like an A-Wing, but not. <laughs> Which one is it? Reroll mm. re to three of your dice. Yours are your re to three dice. That's kind of cool. Uh, not, 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 not super excited about that guy. Our only hope. Draw a card, then you like play the card for free or discane this card to you. That's kind of cool. It just like replaces itself. Pay two to play a card for free. You're only number of your dice and special goods. That's a bunch of resources. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Vibro Knuckles. My god, there's so many ambush things in this set. Before resolving this die, you may spend one resource to increase its value by one. Cool. Only villain, though. What'd you get from the last pack? Slave one. <laughs> you got three legendaries in yeah. three packs. <laughs> Four packs. Jeez. Sorry, anybody who buys from that box. I ain't gotten one since then. This first time I got them. Eighty-one, eighty, last one. Go and damage your character and get attached to one shield. Which I think damage to each of an opponent's characters with two unblockable damage to a character. Tyler, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Uh, you looked really pensive. Watching all this destiny stuff. Check out your yellow character. <coughs> Train up its character upgrade dice to the size of your choice. You can turn the other from the attached character and you can use your hand instead. Uh, <laughs> Jason doesn't like Destiny because he doesn't want to buy singles. Destiny all the time. Oh! Stun Baton, a right Baton. Three class redeploy. After you re roll this die into your pool, you may re roll it. Sustained Fire. Uh, that one of those body I actually move this die to remove one ship from my character. And I'm just cleaning the zone. Okay, well, Ben's journal will come back. I mean, huh? <laughs> Ben's fight really has to blow yeah. to make me not buy a Star Wars. Game. You're just being persnickety. I don't understand your, uh, your reasoning, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Fair trade, resolve one of your guys, show your resources, and switch all of your resources. No. All its resources. <laughs> right? That the, does. Fun. The base yeah, set so far. Oh. Hey, Seth, didn't you need a Death Trooper? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, I'll trade it to you for uh, four speed. Top card of four deck. Deal. Three cards. If there's another copy of this event, you just forgot. That's kind of gross. No, I like there's one. There's a red one. There's some red ones too. But yeah. So what do we have to do to declare battles? Uh, we just basically it's gonna take 15 minutes to look at the map and be like, we declare here, we declare here, we declare here, and then that'll just determine who picks objectives and things like that. So I'm almost done. Sorry about that. I can take a break too if you guys want to do that real quick. But again, there's no reason to wait to play if you guys want to play a game. Just want to play. I, just, I want to play my battle. Well, Ashley might not even be here to do it, so if you get picked against Ashley, you're not going to Only one person. Oh. Is Ashley not coming in? Yeah, and Eric's working, and so I'm not sure that we'll even get to play today. What if I battle with you? Then you would get to play. I'm just saying there's a two-thirds chance you wouldn't. <laughs> Lightsaber pipe, which you already saw. Never tell me the odds, Kyle. Never tell me the odds, even when it's a regular fraction that's easily com easily comprehended. Are you guys what? still going? Yeah. Is, is it? Is this longer than it usually goes? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, magic right. players are kind of savage. They're just like, you're off. Lone operative. Get to the rare. We're like talking about it and making conversation.
I learned it's military uprising. Military uprising seems cool. Uh, Death Trooper? Oh wow, he got a Death Trooper too. That's the guy. Yeah, he's a pretty solid uh, unit. Yeah. Personal shield. I'm okay with that. Before, that was just a support card. No, yeah, you just have it in your deck and you get to play it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Salvo. It's kind of cool. Spirit of Rebellion. Whoa, the card from the pack is named after. Nope, I got a long con. Nice. The second long con. The Spirit of Rebellion is the red one. Red Hero one. It's like give a shield or two if, um, if you uh, have another copy in your treasure. Seen supply line. It's not new. No disintegrations. Overkill. Overkill. There's no kill like it. <coughs> That's kind of cool. All the it's all pluses. And you don't have to pay for it. Yeah. Or you don't have to pay for any music. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Oh, I'm okay with that. I don't know what I'll use it for. All right, so see if you use one of your dice for the shield, you make us the support for turn and points that any side. Huh? What is required of the players for this evening's event? Uh, well, are people asking? Hey there. Uh, no, I just figured it might be um, to talk about or... Oh yeah, so tonight we're running a Destiny event. It starts at, well, we're doing Destiny stuff. So it starts at 4. Depending on who shows up with what, we're gonna either, like, you know, kinda split into two, two, like, sub-events or just one. If a bunch of people come with, like, pre-made decks and, like, I don't wanna, like, have to subjugate people to play with their starters if that's all they have. Um, so if we have enough people show up for both, we might just run two smaller tournaments or something. But just show up before and we'll figure stuff out. We're not doing any deck lists or anything like that. And whatever you guys are going to... I don't know what you guys want to do for buy-in. We I was yeah. thinking like five bucks is what it was, but that covers like the pack, the kit, and the box. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So five dollars will get you in entry for whatever we do and we'll figure out how to distribute stuff after we get started and figure out what's going on. So. Uh, I, got a I got one of those, yeah, too. Uh, I, got, I got Old Ben, I think it's my fifth legendary or sixth legendary. Uh, Guardian character. Before this character is defeated, you may place a blue card from your hand or discard pile for free. Which is kind of cool. Oh man, that doesn't have any more. You're done. You're done. You probably will use it. Are you still left? Yes. Holy cow. I'm slow. You're good. TIE Fighter Pilot. This guy is kind of cool. When you, with, while there's, this die is in your pool, with other die, uh, while this die is in your pool, your other die showing range damage cannot be removed by your opponent. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, his can. I don't know if you die here, right? Huh? Oh yeah, his die. Like, he, if you rolled his die, you can't have your stuff removed. I don't want to finish Did you already build your, uh, army tie? You're like, did you put your fleet together? Space. Your space buddy. Uh, yeah. another character. I know what you're thinking. I had to get them out if I wanted to. Um, Steve is kind of convincing me to play Lizard Men in the next Blood Bowl League. Oh, my. No, no, no. I'm, it, made, oh. it made me think of it because you're over here and I was thinking of the, the Seraphim and stuff. Oh. Like, there's rules for Lizard Men and I have a bunch of Lizard Men, so I can just play Lizard Men. Lizard Men O P A F. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so I got one of the teams. A Chira Emway. I uh, cannot play blue abilities in this character because he's just a wannabe Jedi. But after you activate his character, you can reroll any dice showing blank. Uh, I also yeah. have. Would you stop fire. copying me? No, you're cool. I don't want to do what you want. Loose ends. Ambush. Resolve one of your dice showing range and discard the top four cards of the to dip. Whoa! So you can discard four cards from the opponent's deck if you resolve a ranged ability. So you can, so you can like, damage and discard? Yeah. No, no. Oh, it resolves it instead of It's damage. two, yeah. It's like a replacement effect. Spot a red character, remove an opponent's dash and range damage to deal damage to a character. What's this guy doing? Kyle, that map was in my Krillin Conflict, right? It, it's the Krillin Conflict in the drawer over there is the one that we're, that's mine that we're running for the thing. Okay. Uh, force heal. And it's a heal card, so you get to heal stuff. Not one damage from a character to spend one resource to heal two damage. Okay, cool. That's not that bad. Um, decisive blow. Diversion, look! The Gungan battle. Where? Oh. So, the, the cards that aren't legendary are still good. 
Four attached characters is done. Oh man, that's so cool. Range damage. You may exhaust this upgrade to give attached characters. Yeah, dude, that card is awesome. So he's dead. Oh, I got an overkill. My last deck that I wanted to build. It's just an all villain yellow. My last pack. My last one's an overkill. I got Maz's Castle too. That's pretty cool. Rejuvenate. Yeah. Uh, choose one. Set this card aside and stack a card from your hand on it face down, or play the card stacked on another copy of this card for free and discard this set aside. That's kind of cool. Copy. Uh, basically, you can put out yeah duplicates. You put out one on the copy and then put out the other one mm -hmm. for free later on. So like you play it, put the U wing on it, right? And then next time you play Premonition, you can either put another Premonition out with another copy of a card, or take this card and put it into your. Uh, Wait, if you put it both, then you'd be screwed then because you wouldn't get them. either one, right? Yeah. Gotcha. It's super good though. It doesn't let you play for free though, or does it? This lets free the one you put out. If you choose to play the other one, that one, that one is cool. free. That's what you guys waiting for someone else? We're basically we've started a Krillian conflict campaign. So the first oh. thing we're all gonna do is is we've already we have six total, but I mean yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, I apologize. It wasn't it wasn't on. No 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 no. That's no, no. okay. That's you can totally play. Yeah no. Yeah. We just need to sit down and say here's where we're battling. So if we wanted to play our battles today, we could, but okay. we don't have to. And so. We just need to take like 15 minutes at some point today to do that, but that's no. There's no reason that we couldn't oh, start. How long are you guys gonna play that console? <laughs> well, we're trying to just start it. We, this is the first thing we're first trying to around. There are so many more on the top of the cards you pick. You play one of those cards for free. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. So I think we just have like one battle at that point. We just need to. Yeah. We've also all, you know, all we have to do today. We don't even have to play the battle. It's just to start to decide who's fighting who, and then we have an entire month to play it. Yeah. So uh, like, we don't. If you guys want to play it, you don't have to. Like, we did, did we do a three oh, person last time. Or did Jason chicken out. Not yeah, what? No, I, mean, I I watched you guys play, which means that I went to play Magic. <laughs> I'm assuming there's no way to get in on that campaign. I mean, if so, I don't know. Or if someone, if like if someone would rock you, but we have to like redo the the armies, right? You have to build your army. It's not a big deal, but um, I'm not sure. Um, there might be potential for that depending on how. Do you guys have one? You guys, I don't know if it's a campaign or well. Do you guys? Yeah, right. But so like. Um, if we have someone who not, because like we have enough people to do six, right? And so, but it's sounding more and more like the six people we chose may not be able to show up all the time. So like, if we if we have someone who's like, yeah, okay, not playing, we might be able to get out four things. So let me talk to Eric about it real quick. As long as you can come, as long as you can come, the first Saturday of every month, we do these things for the next 15 months or whatever. Okay. Okay. What was your name again? Neely. 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 This is Jason and Tyler. Um, okay. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, it's got a Lunar and Dooley. I got a RTG and Rebel. And then I can actually use that bad step Wexley. Yeah. Okay. He's pretty cool. I, I thought he was Porkins. Actually, they said he looks like me. So they had like this guy and then this guy. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> you activate this character, if you control the battlefield, roll a death trooper, uh, die into your pool. Set aside that die after his order. Uh, or move. I don't know what that means right now. I'm not saying that I don't Well, it sounds like you're a weapon or put no, or a discard pile I've in this character because he's cost by two. I haven't played since two years ago when they just started. Hey, you'll be as good as all of us. Um, it's Army to War. I play Victory Ships, the Slow Turtles, and TIE Fighters. So, but 
seeing all the cards and others, I'm like, cool, I'll play either one. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little orky, so the one that treats me, I've never played this in Friday. Yeah. Like, this is a That's I played like in Builders had it like two months ago, and it was kind of interesting because like you hit them and they stand on the board and you'd like hit again and like it seems orky to me. I'm like, oh, 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 um, I'm either or. I would like like the cool if it, on the flip side, like an empire that has a You got a Maz? yeah. And you ever play? Yeah. 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 I didn't know your I can't That's why I said the first thing. People that I know. Right. Because people that I know are Yeah, like friends. Or like our friends. But they were like. Yeah, there's lines with like 85 that kind of I mean, you fill out a map. Everybody who's in the top slots is like. Yeah, just have interest in that. Okay. You get the map. Quit trying to train you. Yeah. So, cool. What? Oh, there. Sure enough, it's cool. Like, so it's like you're constantly rewarded for being there. Over there. I'm not a fan of like the like Fallout and Skyrim. Yeah, that's like, 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 like all of ours. Um, hey, Kyle. So this yeah. one. Enjoy everything else. Like, all right, what did you? What was the Bounce Legendary you pulled? So yeah. IG88. Oh man, IG88 is like this shop's favorite character. We pulled like. We've pulled like five total, I think, out of all the boxes here. Nice. How many do you have? I would love I don't, to. Well, there's one. You have one, and then yeah. Rob Farello pulled the three out of one I box. What? Like, what? I mean, there were three of his six legendaries <laughs> in the box, but yeah. I, so, uh, almost, do that I almost thought box. we thought she got two legendaries out of just five packs. Dude, that's what. Uh, but what, she, she just got that guy did. He pulled. Uh, what, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Are we, are we doing the other? Yeah, or are we done? I'll, I'll, I'll do it separately. Okay. Maybe realize it's not great. So we have friends coming over tonight, so I'm not going to be able to make it tomorrow, unfortunately. But I, I want to play some more, so anytime you're here playing, just... Um, if you, if you do want to join the league, you can still do that. I, I can make up a tournament so, for you. Overall polls. I mean, I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to play a little bit before the league starts. But yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I, I'm fine being. There's a month before the league actually starts, starting tomorrow. So. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. And I'm going to be playing too, so we'll probably be able to like. There's a lot of new people starting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so total rares from the two boxes we got are all here. Still streaming. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. For a second. <laughs> sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're fine. It's okay. This is part of the. So we got, I don't think we got any double level legendaries, which is kind of cool. Yeah. The most expensive ones are going to be Force Speed, Chewie's 30, um, Obi Wan is 30, Palpatine's 50, Palpatine's higher than Force Speed. Yeah. I should have I never sold you that box. Too bad. Gravitons 30, so yeah. I don't know, the Wii U, U Wing is 20, but it's out of stock on the field. Cool stuff, which makes me feel like it should be more, because yeah, I think the U Wing is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Uh, there's a lot of stuff for um, uh, support vehicles that I think would be really cool on this set. But yeah, pretty good pulls from this box. Uh, I think most of them paid for themselves. So thanks for watching, everybody. I don't know if it's going to continue streaming or not, but I hope you had fun and we'll see you on YouTube or wherever we see you. And uh, don't forget about the event today. If you're watching, uh, you can come down and play Destiny at 4. Or you can come down at any point and play Bestie, but we're going to start something at 4. So, yes. what, are you, what are you guys doing today? You have friends coming over today? Yeah, right okay. now. You're going to teach them Destiny? Dude, it's, I'm lucky to teach them anything. If it's not Cranium, then they drag it. Man, there's so many good but they, they, they love Lords of Waterdeep, so we're probably going to play that. What about, like, Chicken to Ride? They would do that, probably. Okay. But, like, they're always... Ali gets all stuff. I, I, Steve always brings Carcassonne to our game nights, and, like, it's just in my practice. I like it. I